Hey, what's up, YouTubers? Orfish here. Welcome, welcome to the second episode of my first dive playthrough. In the last episode, we crafted a sea truck. We explored the environment, gathered some basic resources, crafted some basic equipment, got a grip on the basic storyline, and we're gonna continue where we left off. So. Now we have the primary means of transportation and we have, I think, yeah, we have a destination. Let's see. Seek fluid and take. Yeah, I should prepare some food and water first. First, some bladder fish. Oxygen. Some oxygen. Hopefully, I'll stumble upon some base fragments or Emergency. something imminent. that Seek I can scan. And craft some basic storage compartments. Peeper used to be one of the best sources of food after Reginald, I think, but I'm not sure if that's the case in this game, so yeah, it's still a great food source. Vital signs stabilizing. I'm gonna save the bar for the later. Okay, let's see no. But it's gonna rot anyway, so we we'll just eat it. Let's leave some more stuff behind. And okay, let's see. If we're gonna find any base fragments there. I mean, scannable base compartments or something. Do we even have a habitat builder? No. We just haven't yet discovered it. Okay. The maneuverability of this thing is a bit lower than it was on Seamoth, but it's still quite u usable. I guess these are thermal vents. have reached a land apparently what's this 
sea truck fragment, but we already have the sea truck. Okay. Let's see what's out there. Okay, we have another beacon here. I'm not gonna change the name. PDA. Oh, coffee vending machine. We're gonna need that later. Mostly for decoration purposes, right? Trash can. Bench. We'll pick up this decorative items later. Okay, the temperature is dropping fast. We have the floodlight, but nothing, nothing which we can use to build some base. See how far. This is a recorded message. If you can hear this, you're trespassing. If you know it's good for you, you'll get the hell out of here. How about no? Okay, here's another heat source. Thermal Lily. Quite a convenient name. a nice time of day to traverse this land and hopefully we'll find some shelter any more space Whoa Stop right there Altera You're out of bounds I'm not with Altera Then your position is doubly precarious What do you mean If you're telling the truth you're out of your mind If you're lying there'll be hell to pay Wait! Who are you? Stay off my land. Cool. It's some kind of upgraded prawn suit. And I thought there will be jump scare like that. The woman that. in the exosuit has been traced as far as my technology will allow. It would appear I'm far less alone on this planet than I had anticipated. Signal <laughs> location uploaded to PDA. Finally. Some base pieces and finally a habitat builder. So we're on a in a good spot now. Let's explore this step by step. Let's see what's inside. All kinds of interior pieces. Something new. Office chair. New blueprint synthesized. 
What did I miss? Oh, apparently I can scan this entire multi-purpose room. Filtered water, okay. Map. A map will come in handy. I should be able to find my way to Phi Robotics where Sam worked. Okay, so majority of this theater is covered by land, apparently. I have no idea where I am at the moment. Probably here. We'll see. Bad. Nice, we've got everything here. Might as well stay. Okay, poster. I like posters. But I don't have much space. I gotta pick up this picture. Shaving kit. Okay, whatever. Not sure if I'm gonna need that. Shelves. All kinds of familiar stuff. These beds have names, have their owners. Another poster. Cool. Let's see if we missed something. I hope not. Locker. Okay, nothing new here. Let's get out of here. Okay, nameplate. That's new. Another nutrient block. So there is scanner room. I think we're missing one more builder fragment. Oh no, it's complete. So basically we can now create base or bases. No, what should I do with snow? No. Let's see. Haha, uh -huh, cool. Observatory. And no Reaper Leviathans in this game to observe. I'm starting to freeze. And Cushy inside. Setup. Must belong to one of those higher uppers. Inside here. Apparently. Sam really got under management skin. I didn't know she had it in her. Apparently inside we're again. The temperature back, even though the place has been deserted for some time. Some kind of weird Newton's cradle. Which ironically defies all known laws of physics. Poster. Okay, this there's definitely more variety here. Breakfast, lunch, whatever it is. Looks tasty. Let's see if we have scanned everything. Um, 
you can turn it off apparently. Okay. Now let's check out. What's new here? Many things are new here. Let's not miss out on some story parts. Good morning, Frostpack. Just a quick update to inform you of some key achievements and priority shifts we need you all to get behind. The Spy Pangling project was a resounding success. Please join me in congratulating Samantha IU who is now reassigned to Outpost Zero, helping us dream of future initiatives. Congratulations are also in order for Danielle Valenti and her team at Omega Lab. The closing of Phi Robotics means important funds can be redirected to their Kara bacteria study, which has important, positive implications for the life sciences. You're all doing an exceptional job, and I don't want to promise anything, but HQ has been taking notice. Keep up the good work, and I think we can start discussing bonuses soon. Nothing too new. Except that Kara is still a, th still a thing. For the last time, I'm not cheating. Then what's your theory? What's going on? If you ask me, Zeta's been blinking a lot. I think it's a tell. He does have a point there. It's allergies. Allergies? Oh, is something in bloom in this frozen sector? Thermal lilies, and if you gang up on me, I swear you're all fired. <laughs> you're not even my boss. Oh, you're all so gullible. You're fighting each other. Meanwhile, look at Parvin. <laughs> just look at him. What am I doing? I'm not doing anything. Let's just take this to a vote. All those who think Zeta's allergies are a bad case of alienitis, say intruder. Intruder. Uh, intruder. Intruder. Danny? Oh, I'm just an observer here. I'm going to use my pass. Is there some kind of scientist conspiracy going on here? Zeta, Sam, Danielle, you three are suddenly very aligned. Or, like I said, Parvin is cheating. I'm starting to wish I was cheating. Okay, some friendly chit chat. David, you'll be happy to know the Frost Pack is making excellent progress. I must say, my management style appears to be uniquely well suited to isolated planets. I miss you, of course. But I wonder if you feel it too. As great as we are together, we're almost better apart. Just look at how well Prosperina did in her last show. I'm sorry I couldn't be there to see it, but I'm sure if I'd been around, I'd only have made her nervous. Once this mission is over, I'll come home for a few good months. And then, what do you think if we look at reorganizing our expectations to facilitate longer term separation success? I really think this could be a great model for us going forward, romantically and otherwise. Don't forget, I love you from the depths of my heart. Keep on succeeding in your projects. You know there's nothing I find more attractive. Alright. Fred, I'm not blaming you. But what do you mean it's gone? Where did it go? You found some trouble somewhere in the deep twisty bridges and decided to jettison modules? Yeah, I had to jettison a module. I got free, went back for it. It was just gone. And you think someone stole it? Or something. I didn't lose it, that's for sure. I'm careful with my tools. I'm sure you are, but you have to admit, there have been a lot of sea truck accidents, and they're rather expensive. You want to follow me on a few runs tomorrow? See what it's like? Conditions are way harsher than anything I ever imagined. I don't know if you could really understand it from inside your base. That won't be necessary. Thanks for your time. I'll write it up as an accident. Okay, so the Emmanuel is some kind of indoor guy. Fred was doing some work on the field. Something kept missing. Fred. Great to see you. Come on in. You don't mind if I record this, do you? Uh, am I in trouble? <laughs> no. You know me. Just a fanatic for details. And my memory's not what it used to be. <laughs> I know what that's like. <laughs> yes. Is that why you've been running so many personal errands for your colleagues? We asked you to limit them. Uh, so I am in trouble. That's not how I want you to look at it. 
Here's what I see. You're a team player. You want to get the job done. I think I have a pretty good record there. You want people to like you. Has anyone complained? Fred, the trouble is, not everyone is as reliable as you are. Sometimes people need help being where they need to be and concentrating on their work. All the trips were work-related. It appears you transported tech for Lil, rather far out from her base. Lil needed to go deep, and she needed a sea truck. Her work is currently on surface installations. She shouldn't be anywhere near the water. I, uh, well, I... No more favors to friends, agreed? Yes, sir. <laughs> ah, I keep telling you. Call me Manu. <laughs> Right, nothing too special. Emmanuel gave me his jailbroken scanner tool thing and said I need more shower heads. This should lead you to the necessary minerals. What he also told me to keep it on the down low. I guess this is what master certificate in the applied. Okay, this is too noisy. Can't even read. But I'm gonna freeze, right? Okay, we'll resume reading that later. Okay, we got another log about what has happened here. There's the sky ray. We can't do anything here. Gonna need to find that module. Hypothermia imminent. Yeah, I know. <laughs> There's our lily. Thank you. Let's do another pass. Visibility is zero. I think Riley could jump higher. Definitely. Okay, so we're back here. Now let's see. I have to hand it to Emmanuel though. I don't know what he did to the scanner, but it does a great job at zeroing in on a specific minerals. It's better than hoping I stumble across the rat outcropping. So it's probably talking about that mineral scanner if you already have. Tower maintenance log. Okay. This time the birds have really done it. I don't know what they've been eating, but it's corrosive when it comes out the other end. I'm gonna need to rewire. I'm short an element to fabricate the right cable. I remember seeing some when I did that dive to the old ship. I'm gonna go out there and see if I can get some more. That should fix it. Okay. Maintenance status? In progress. Now we have a clue that there is some old ship. Jenny, you wouldn't believe the adventure I'm having. It's just like when we were kids and we used to play underwater city. Only sea monsters aren't pretend and I don't need to hide behind you when one swims by. Because I'm safe in my sea truck. Safe and very, very brave. Please tell Dad for me. Thanks so much for the mustache kit, by the way. To be honest, I wasn't sure if it was a gag gift at first. Personal grooming is something of a challenge here and as you know, I'm a Pretty low maintenance guy to begin with, but you'd be surprised how handy mustache wax is in an emergency. There have been some close scrapes. For a while there, someone was sabotaging my truck and I thought I was seeing things. But my friend Sam helped me sort it out. Although, she's had some troubles of her own lately. To be honest, I get a little worried out here sometimes. But I guess that's normal, under the circumstances. Gotta expect a little risk, right? 
I should be happy. I have great friends and a good paycheck. Anyway, love you, Jenny, and Dad. Please find a way to tell him that he won't find embarrassing. And don't worry, I'm looking for the perfect fish to bring back as a gift. Your favorite. <laughs> All right, we haven't found anything new here. I mean, anything else here. This antenna looks like it's gonna come. to be a few later. I'm telling you, Sammy, you see some weird things when you spend half your day in a sea truck. More vandalism? Was it the sea monkeys again? I don't think so. I can't shake the feeling this planet is cursed. <laughs> There's no such thing yes, as it a is. curse. Yeah, you're probably right. That's nothing. You wouldn't want to hear about it anyway. Just a huge creature frozen in ice. What? Where? In a cave. Not far from your lab. And here's the extra weird part. As soon as I called it in, they closed off the area. Don't want anyone going in there. But why? Sammy, I'm no biologist, but I think there was something wrong with it. Its skin just seemed off. Alien. An alien on planet 4546B. No. I'm serious, Sam. Something ain't right. Wish I could show you, but I can't get back in there. You can't. But I might know how to. Whatever you're thinking, we never had this conversation. Just doing a quick pass to see if we missed anything. I think not. But now we have found out that there is a giant creature. The damn ugly thing followed me into the Somewhere shallows. out there. Didn't think something that big would follow me up here. Had a jettison the sea truck. I can't see a thing. Again. Oh, I guess I could try to go back for the parts when it leaves. If it leaves, I really don't want to sit in another meeting with Emmanuel, Manu, as he likes to be called. Ugh, I just want to drive around and deliver cargo in peace. Communications tower maintenance lock. Okay. Another day. This might be important. Another slight by the winged furies. As usual, I got an interference alert. As usual. I went out to see what the problem was. As usual, it was frozen stalagmites of feathered bird excrement. I fear the career impact of saying this officially. If you can even call what I have a career. But I can swear they're targeting me personally. The week I was out with the flu, I came back to find the tower spotless. Parvin laughed at me when I asked him how he cleaned it. Silly me. As if Parvin would ever clean anything. There's nothing left for me to do but quit. But I know that's what the birds want me to do. Oh, and I got the tower up and running. Maintenance complete. Cool, some free food. Is there anything here that we possibly could have missed? I think not. But since I can't see anything, we might as well have. Okay, we, it's time to deploy a base somewhere. Okay, we have some personal ID card of Emmanuel, of Fred, and of Jeremiah. His technician, Fred is courier. And Emmanuel is human resources and communication. Okay. 
We now have a map. I guess we're here, right? Yeah, we are on this island. Some operating manual. Okay, to initiate a test mode, insert the test override module into the diagnostic port is depicted. Okay, but we do not have the test override module. Let's see. I haven't found it. Maybe it's not here. Okay, this is not new. We have some geological data, flora, fauna, we'll, we'll read that later. We know about vehicles. We know about this stuff. We know about much of the equipment. Okay, so at least here we got some more coordinates which we can go I think there was um, yeah pilot last known position we'll go there but first we'll create some basic base somewhere that woman's problem the one in the exosuit like I need to say which woman and what the hell is she doing on this planet it isn't exactly a happening vacation spot she knew their terrain well enough to make a dramatic entrance by jumping off a sheer cliff so I guess she's been here a while but how long has she been following me she said to keep away from her or off her land what in this frozen slush bog could she be protecting? Unless she's camped out somewhere. She's definitely heard of Altera, though. Did she meet Sam? Okay. I don't have any reactor blueprints other than bioreactor that will be sufficient for now, especially since we have the multi-purpose room right away okay this is definitely some predatory creature and let's find a cool spot to build a base on let's look at that map once more So we were here, we crashed somewhere over there, I mean somewhere here, yeah right. I want to build a base in the center of things, possibly somewhere here, but that should be this way, right? This is new. Let's go this way. Uh, that doesn't look friendly. I 
when it doesn't sound friendly. I don't think it can damage my sea truck, but I'm not sure. No. Oh, it can. But it's nothing to... Worrisome. Subnautica was something somewhat prettier than here. Maybe it's the color palette or something. Something is off. It's not quite attractive to be, build a base near that. Okay, this here is quite deep and dark. There's a lots of quartz. These predators are quite loud, which is okay because you can hear them from a mile away. too deep. I need to back off. Sea truck definitely has some greater inertia than the sea moth. It's harder to maneuver. Is this something new? Nah, it's the same fragment. Poor fish. Another platform. Oh, exterior robot. Cool. Caribbean okay, plants can be planted, apparently. Nothing new here.
this looks like important thing or not it's just a cable precursor cable which has been severed who knows why and when maybe it is somehow related to the storyline we'll see you later we can follow it yeah we can definitely follow it whoa Is this something akin to a crab squid? Is it... Yeah, it stings a bit. It's apparently nothing too concerning. Here maybe would be a nice place to build a base. See where that cable leads. Okay, this is a new piece of land. I think we're somewhere here. I used to roam there, then I went here. And the cable just keeps going and going and going. Not sure if I should follow it, but I should definitely get back to my sea truck. This cable is just decoration, I'm gonna kill myself. And apparently, apparently it led me to another base, so... Let's see if we can explore this area.
how do I even get up there? so I can get more titanium here but I'm gonna freeze changed there's definitely some this alien technology exhibits a data signature that strongly correlates with the previously recorded distress call wow. interesting how could I can use this new data to identify where that call was coming from signal location uploaded to PDA I on cube this is too early into the game, but never mind. Energy generator. That's it. One more ion cube. Blueprints. This could be an alien cache. With a few iron cubes, some tech to scan, nothing too fancy, apparently. So, ham. These walls are interesting. Let's get out of here. But through where? I forgot. No, oh, through here. And we got another coordinates. Another goal. Now how to get over there. This way, definitely this way. Hmm. I still can't see anything. Nothing scannable. That's a shame. <sighs> this 
There is one more platform over there, but first I need to warm myself up. Okay, this cable apparently has led us to something. Have I even stepped? this platform. Let's recheck that. No. I went there. Fluid. We'll see what's that. Okay, I need to reinsert something like that here, but first I need to craft it. To connect this bridge, I'm sure I can't get over there without first making this work. Hypothermia imminent. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. this do I even have the time to do it since the hypothermia kicks in so fast is there anything here at all no so far not Here's a thing to consider where parking your sea truck. What now? Okay. 
They're looking for some nice base spot. The sea truck can go deeper without bumping into too much stuff. Yes, it can, but this is a dead end, dead end apparently. leads warning maximum depth three Oops. hull damage imminent forgot about that Looking for a base spot. This is the middle of the map, so it would be it would be cool if I place the base here, but it doesn't look too pretty. It's just boring. Bit. Maybe here, huh? It's right in the middle of everything. Maybe it's a good idea. Let's go with here. We'll re relocate later, but I just gotta build some storage area. See, there's a kelp there. Okay. This will be the spot. Oh, I can 
crafted. The habitat builder. Wiring kit, computer chip, battery. Have everything over there. Hailstorm. So it's a copper wire wiring kit. We need a few coral samples. And those are not as easy to find in this game. This would also be a cool spot to build a base on. It's usually a good, uh, good idea to build a base in between several biomes, and this Warning. is 30 seconds of oxygen remaining. This is one such place, so I've changed my mind. We'll do it somewhere here as soon as we build a habitat builder first. Create, sorry. Passing 100 meters. Oxygen efficiency decreased. Window. That's good. Warning. 30 seconds of oxygen remaining. High capacity. New blueprint synthesized. This is the best thing that could have happened to me right now. Oxygen. my sea truck here and we're gonna build a base somewhere here
Okay. Computer chip was it? Gold. We can also craft this. Excellent, and now the um, cabinet builder, so the battery. Let's see if I. Place this battery and then create a habitat builder. Adding emergency shelter blueprints to your data bank. No, it will remain the same charge. With a builder okay. tool, you can construct sea bases from raw materials, advising against exploring a frozen water continent without a base. No bed, no storage. No place to put a fabricator module. No fun. Exactly. And that is why we need a base. far into that direction. Oh yeah, it's those disc fish. This purple lighting reminds me of the void from Subnautica. And it always sends chills down my spine, but apparently here that doesn't mean the immediate danger.
and let's start. here yeah let's go with here away from me quartz Emergency power only. Oxygen production offline. Okay, apparently you can build the hatch from the diagonal directions here. Which is quite Oxygen. cool. Yeah, this is quite a nice place. No, no. Get back here. Oh my god, it took my sea glide. So it just randomly takes something from your inventory. But it's just a minor inconvenience. Here we need a bioreactor. Titanium wiring kit, lubricant. I think there is one more wiring kit. Back there. titanium here so I have to go back I mean I don't have to go back I can scan this stuff here to 
obtain more titanium. I'm not gonna place a bioreactor here. It's gonna be a storage chamber that goes before power. We need storage. And this is one layout that I'd like to use for such purpose. So four storage lockers in the middle of the room. the start will create two oxygen yeah 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 in the middle sorry that's my OECD I just have to make it perfectly aligned I think this will be just fine quite aligned. One more try. And let's really relocate the other stuff from my other base or from the escape pod, right? But luckily, luckily we have this landmark about it. I might 
make peepers extinct if I start crashing like this more often into them. Now we can sort things out a bit. Let's get this uncommon stuff to the other locker. Battery I'm gonna need soon. And one more trip for those eggs. What is it that we need for the bioreactor? Lubricant. Okay, I need to craft that. See, that's a good point. I need to craft that. Forehand. I think it's a good buy for this base. I mean this escape pod. I'm not gonna need it anymore. As soon as I bring power to this base. Emergency power only. Oxygen production offline. Now, I'm gonna need another another multi-purpose room. Uh, you again. Seek fluid intake. Titanium. We need a quartz. Oxygen 
oxygen. Oh wow. And now it's bioreactor time. Now let's grab some biomaterial. This bladder fish will do. New creature discovered. New creature discovered. Cool. Power restored. All primary systems online. Okay, that's some basic storage and power. Welcome aboard, Captain. Let's see if we, if we can establish at least a fabricator here before I wrap this thing up for tonight or today. Copper ore. Vital signs stabilizing. I actually need a copper ore. Yeah, I know I need to, but it's always a good idea to get some more. At least double the amount you need. So, this is going to be my fabrication. That's a nice view. Some more water. More glass, yeah. But more importantly, more water.
Okay, let's make things symmetrical for now. I'm gonna place another window here. Another locker. This one is going to be just for titanium. Here I'm going to keep my consumables. Is that we're there and I'm gonna wrap this up for this episode if you liked it hit that like button down below stay tuned subscribe and I'll see you guys in my next episode